Introducing the Open Palm Podcast with host Jerome Shaw, available today on your favorite podcast platforms. The Open Palm Podcast is a positive, uplifting, motivational, and inspirational podcast. The host brings his insight and philosophy, and you can't help but gravitate towards his smile, his words, and his wisdom. Again, the podcast he hosts is titled The Open Palm Podcast. It's about inspirational messages, motivating themes, and thought-provoking ideas and topics. He'll also help you become more aware and in harmony with your own life, giving you a better understanding of your place in the world and using your skills accordingly, greeting the world with an open palm instead of a closed fist. You can find the show today on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and more. You can also connect with the host on Instagram at J Rome Shaw. That's J R O M E S H A W on Instagram. Jerome Shaw with the Open Palm Podcast. Motivation, meditation, mentality. Go listen, download, and subscribe today. There was once a martial arts student who went to his master with a question. After seeking his sensei, he said, Master, I seek to improve and increase my prowess in the martial arts. I also want to learn another style from another master, from another teacher. What do you say to this? The master smiled and pondered this for a second before replying, the hunter who chases two rabbits catches neither one. Think about that for a second. The hunter who chases two rabbits catches neither one. Have you ever found in your life where you had more than one discipline? Several disciplines, in fact. I used to do many different things growing up. I played baritone in my schooling, When I was in sixth grade, I was in the band in seventh grade, playing different instruments, percussion, baritone, also getting taught piano. But I never really got proficient at any of these instruments. When I got older, I wanted to become a voice actor. And I still have that as a dream of mine today. But while I was in California pursuing voice acting, I was also doing things like learning magic tricks, card tricks, coin tricks, right? And when you're doing things like playing video games and getting proficient at video games and getting proficient at learning all sorts of different things, you become a jack of all trades, right? But a master of none. How can you master many disciplines at one time. I believe in the Hindu philosophy there is the saying of a mountain and at the top of the mountain is this peak so to speak you mastering your discipline and there are many roads many valleys many many roads all lead to this peak and each of them is viable each of them is valid each of them is effective But you will not get to the peak following two roads at once. All waters flow to the ocean, they say. But how can you flow down two waters at once? Will that lead to the ocean? Or will you just find yourself going upstream, downstream, upstream, downstream, upstream, downstream? It's an interesting question, being a jack of all trades, a master of none, or finding one or even just a few disciplines and working on those. When I started this podcast, many other things popped up, and I could do so many different things, and I have done so many different things. I could be on Twitter, I could give my opinion there. I could be on Instagram, I could be on Facebook, I could be on YouTube, I could do blogging, I could do all sorts of stuff, and I have. 
Or I could be like Seth Godin, famous blogger, who just wrote one blog a day, every day, and just one a day, every day. And we all know the story of Seth Godin, who's written many books, many blogs. And now he's moved on to podcasting, but that was after mastering his discipline. So there is a thought process behind specialization or generalization. Should we generalize? Should we become renaissance people like a renaissance man able to do everything anything able to play all these instruments able to paint able to sculpt able to invent or should we focus on one hone in on one dive deep on one dig deep on one instead of just staying in shallow waters we can see all there is to see in the bottomless ocean. The choice will be up to the individual whether or not you wish to dig deep or dig a few trenches here and there. Nothing is either good or bad. Our thinking makes it so. But there are different experiences to be had. Thank you for listening, my friend. This has been Jerome Shaw on T.O.P., the Open Palm Podcast here in San Antonio, Texas. I pray you received an encouraging message letting you know that there may be pros or cons to mastering one discipline as opposed to doing everything else. I remember I was doing Taekwondo and Kung Fu and Tai Chi and Bujinkan Ninjutsu all at the same time. But would I ever reach mastery in one if I w my focus and energy was split amongst all others? It's a question I leave to you for your life and the things that you are seeking to master. Share this episode with a like-minded individual, learning and growing, becoming their greatest version. Pay it forward so more can hear the message. And if this is your very first time receiving this podcast, definitely subscribe for more inspirational messages like this. And if you feel compelled to support, consider opening your browser to anchor.fm slash jshaw. Supporting the podcast there is much appreciated. Big shout out. Thank you to all the wonderful supporters who continue to donate. Much love to you. Have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. And as always... Take care, my friend. Hey there, my friend. So you've heard about Anchor, but do you know why it's the easiest way to make a podcast? Well, first off, it's free. It allows you to use creation tools that let you record your podcast right from your phone or computer. It also distributes your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more platforms. You can even make money from your podcast with minimum listenership. It's everything you need in one place. Download the free Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started. Can't wait to hear yours. Let's see what you have to offer the world.